a long way back. Well, can you guess what I'm up to? I bought a shitload of gravel and I've got a lot of gravel laneway on this farm. And I've been spreading out the gravel and making it all nice and smooth with my backhoe. And it's hot and dry summer so every time people drive on it, it just gets all shoved around and rutted so I get pissed off at people for scra you know, scraping up and ruining my new driveway. So calcium chloride is a type of something that absorbs moisture out of the air or you can add water with it and it stays damp and the government puts it all over the gravel roads around the countryside so gravel roads are no longer dusty. You gotta wear gloves when using it because it makes your hands so slimy. There's my gloves and there's how I made a funnel out of the front plate of a colored panel of a dishwasher. So this granular stuff which I don't want to touch but it's light and fluffy till it absorbs moisture from the air and gets all damp and clumpy. It's going to go in this funnel I just made out of a dishwasher front. Some tuck tape, piece of pipe, fits perfect. Get my scooper and shovel it in there. You now I did an experiment, I mixed some with water here already and stirred it around with that. It only took about a minute for a whole bunch to dissolve. So my plan is, put a whole bunch in there. I think I got enough for two, two tank bowls for a nice heavy coating. Fill it half full of water and then drive around while it's sloshing a whole bunch on some rough terrain. Get it all dissolved and then fill it up with water. Then drive down my driveway and do the job. Sweet! I called someone last year to see how much it would cost to do 1,200 feet of driveway. They wanted 1,500 bucks for a wet coating like that. <laughs> well, that cost me 370 bucks with tax. But it is a write-off for the farm because I'm just maintaining my own driveway and since the farm makes a profit from land rental, it's not a big deal. Need to make a little less money now and then, you know. Now you can just sprinkle this shit all over the driveway, but when you have like 1,200 feet, it's going to give you a sore wrist and maybe carpal tunnel. So that would take way too long. So I'm sure this method will work out just great. Ah, great. My funnel doesn't clog. I can take all that I give her. Cool. Well, got to turn the camera off because I've got lots of scooping to do. Ah, I think I'll go get some safety glasses so I don't get any of this in my eyes. I know it burns. Yeah, and a good idea to shut those valves off, too. Well, off to the beach for a fill-up, for a partial fill-up. And my hoses, my funnel, my climbing pail, everything. And I put seven bags in her. They say 1.4 pounds per square meter. All right. Nice day to go to the beach anyways. Get some tan in my butt. Well, some more anyways. Sweet. Well, there's a spot where I tried sprinkling some on an hour ago. It's already taking moisture out of the air and making it damp. It really holds the gravel together. Almost there. And there's some whence we came. Beautiful. All new sand. 22 tons, the water's fresh and clean, and warmer than any swimming pool. This fluffy sand is the best beach I've ever been on. Couldn't be easier. Back in and load up.
shower on a hot day. I had to go for a drive. Never drove this barefoot before. Should be fine. <clears throat> Pumper video, anyone? Piece of shit. Why does it do that? Look at that sweet mud. Uh, the hill that Pug jumped his motorhome on should give it a good slosh. That ought to do her. Paradise. <laughs> well, we're back at the shop now, half full of water. And driving back bare feet, I noticed something. <laughs> this stuff gets hot. You mix it with water, there's quite a chemical reaction. I actually can't hold it on the tank any longer than that. I bet you the temperature of that tank would be 150 degrees Fahrenheit at least. Yeah, it's half full. And when you're driving it, your feet are touching halfway down and just cooking your heels. <laughs> Interesting. Now I know how to make redneck hot water anyway, summer or winter. I can't exactly tell when it's all going to be dissolved, so I'll just leave it sit for a while just to be sure. Well, now it's fully loaded with water. We're ready to do the laneway for the first time with this method. And you can see that the fenders are almost touching now. When it's not loaded with water, it's three inches of space. Cool, let's do it. Ain't that the weirdest uh, farm equipment you ever seen? Yeah, buddy. What a piece of farm equipment. Awesome. <laughs> 